Hello, today I'll be doing a quick tutorial on lists. And lists are a very important concept in Racket. And there's no such thing as an array in Racket. So we use lists in a special way. And there's a lot of different differences between arrays in a conventional programming language like Java. And then the way you represent an array in Racket. So the primary difference is in Racket, you can't go to a specific index at once. So let me begin by illustrating an example. So I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to make the text really large, but let's say define a as cons b empty. So let's see if this runs. Now previously, I talked about how this is a symbol. And this, we're defining a constant called a. Now this will be a list. So if I go into my pane over here, it says it's a list b. OK, and I'm going to go over this in a little bit. So in the meantime, I will just do beginner student. So if we run this, let's see what happens. So we're going to keep it with just cons for now. So we can see here is a list, and we keep b. Now, if I want to access the first item in this uh, a, I'll do first a, and it gives me b. If I do rest a, it gives me empty, which is the rest of the list. Okay, now let's say I want a list with like a couple a couple items. So let's say students. I would have cons and I would have uh, Mike. And I want another student. I would have to do another cons. Inside this cons, I would have Bob. And in here, I would have empty. And this is where it get, starts getting confusing. So for now, if I do students, we get these students over here. So here I have students. And I have Mike, another cons inside of it, Bob, and so on. Now, what's important to notice is when you do cons, it actually looks for two parameters. And that's the important thing to notice. We notice that this is one parameter here. So we have cons, Mike, and we have this parameter over here. And inside of this, we have another one over here. So it's a nested list. And if you're familiar with the abstract attack of a linked list, that's a really good way to visualize it. So now if I do first in students, first actually returns Mike. So first would return the first item, while rest students would actually return the rest of the list entirely. So I could do first rest students, oops, and this will return the rest of the list and the first item in the rest of the list. And empty is a reserved word. So I can do empty students and it will tell me if this list is empty or not. And this is pretty much all there is to the list. And it can get very confusing, especially if you're trying to do things nested. And that's when it starts getting brutal. Because you can have a cons inside of a cons um, high. And inside here, you actually have a cons inside of this. So if I put a cons in the first parameter here, this is a separate list. So I have A and empty, right? And inside here, I have another one called B and empty. If I do classes, I actually have two cons. I have another con nested inside here and another con inside here. So if I put a cons in the first parameter, and this will just give me an entirely new object to work with. Same with cons in the second parameter, we can see that we have another object side by side. And it takes a little bit of getting used to. So now if I do first classes, amazingly, this actually returns another list. So I could do first, first classes. This doesn't always have syntax error, because if you have a nested um, cons inside of it, it will return just the cons. And you really have to get familiar with that concept. So now let's uh, head over to with list abbreviations. <clears throat> and the difference between list abbreviations is that it will represent it as a list. So we learn about cons. Now, you may think, why did I just learn about cons when I can just do this thing? And list is really nice because you can simply just list them. So I can just do that. And this will just work. It gives me a list. It's 
Great. Now the problem with just using list, which is fairly simple syntax, you can also do, uh, I believe this works, first of A. I think second of A also works. Third of A. And I believe you can go all the way to seven. Now the problem with list is you can't actually add anything, but you can combine list methods with other things. So we can do append, which is a neat method. A, A. First item must be append a list a and here we got another list appended with that now if we want to append another list we could do cons a cons a empty like that and similarly we can see we actually got a nested list inside of here which is not what we want but using cons you can add cons into your statements and just you simply operate them. So if you ever want to add something to a list, you would have to use cons or you have to use the append method. List itself does not allow you to add different values onto it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy and I'm also going to do a structures video on more about Racket.